Hey guys, I wanted to go through everything with you all myself, but as you can see, I'm really sick. I don't have a voice, so I'm gonna bring in Daniel to break down everything in the 24 hours of calling scammers around the world. Now, I will tell you this, I've never done something like this before, and it was pretty crazy. Essentially, this is a live stream where we're gonna relentlessly troll and hack these scammers for 24 hours straight. Now we've got nine different people working on this operation. There's gonna be six here in the office and three people working remotely around the world. Now when you hear this, that is the sound of a scammer hanging up on us. And you're gonna be hearing it a lot because these guys were raging left and right. I mean, we were streaming for 24 hours, they must have been raging for at least 12 of them. And there's two reasons for that. The first is that it was a holiday, like one of the biggest holidays of the entire year in India. So I don't know if these guys were just mad that they were working, sorry, scamming while everybody else was out celebrating. But the second reason is this. Press one to talk to a scammer. That is called the scammer hotline. And what it means is that we've hijacked their phone system. So anytime they pick that phone up, it's gonna be us on the other end. Not to mention when we did get these guys on the phone, we were doing things like telling them the exact location where they were scamming out of and using our unlimited access of their systems to just pull stuff up on their screen. Imagine you're just sitting there scamming, just trying to scam some people, and all of a sudden your worst nightmare shows up on the screen. Scammer payback. A question that we get a lot is why are they always Indian? So I'm just gonna break it down for you. It starts with the scammer payback tip line. This is where you guys send us emails that you get from these scammers. Usually it's fake Norton, fake PayPal, fake Amazon, tech refund scammers. And we love these guys because they wanna to connect to our systems. And the infrastructure that we've built here at Scammer Payback means that when they connect to us, we can immediately connect to them. And that's where all the information comes from, okay? So it's stuff like their location, their names, the victims that they've scammed before, it's all on their computers. And that's what we're going after. Now these car warranty scams, these student loan scams, they all take place over the phone. And there's only so much information that we can get from that. It's pretty much useless to us. So yes, there are scams all over the world in the US and Europe, but the tech scam capital of the world, that's in India. So for the whole 24 hours that we were calling these guys, somebody in a call center in India was picking up. I promise you, do not let this guy's accent fool you. Yeah, good in tech, my name is John. So we're in German time now. That guy is not German, I promise. He's just some guy sitting in a call center in Siliguri. So back on track. You are about to watch these scammers absolutely lose it. But you're also gonna watch us lose it too because 24 hours is a long time, not just to be awake, but to be dealing with these scumbags. It's a downward spiral from the very beginning to the very end. So as Pierogi would say, let's get into it. The first six hours, I was mostly setting up our computers to be ready for after our work day. So really, I would only hear muffled screams through the through the door on occasion. And I go, oh, he got one. <laughs> Actually, I love that. <laughs> muffled screams. I was making this short. <laughs> uh, I did catch the stream, though, because I had it in the background. There was so much rage in the beginning. Be patient, so right? I'm it not, will be delivered. At your I don't need it day. delivered to my house. Do you not understand, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. It will be delivered, okay? Excuse me? Press one to talk to a scammer. I don't know if they were mad because they had to work on this uh, Indian holiday or what, uh, as if, you know, scammers work, but they were just not having it with P. I remember there was one guy and he flipped. It was like, he was like going, Motherfucker. He, he lost his mind. It was crazy. <laughs> okay, you do one thing. You do one thing. You just close down each and everything, first of all. Just close down okay. each and everything, okay? Now, once you close down each and everything, you just open your uh, Google Chrome browser. Yes, but I, I'm just... It, it took us about 15 minutes to even get to this point. Why are you having me I am just, close sir, everything down, Mark? Sir. Sir. It's not sir, it's ma'am. My name is Mary. Well, okay, I'm so sorry for that, ma'am. I'm so sorry for that. You open your Google Chrome, I know, please. but you keep saying sir, though, and I, it's it's a I'm, little bit I already told uh, you I'm so sorry for that. I thought you are a man, but you are not a man. Hey. You are a gay or something lady. I'm so sorry for that. Uh, what do you see right now, ma'am? Well, I'm sitting here. It says new session. 
Any desk interlude address. That's what Mark had me put on my computer. You had me go on Google Chrome and then I clicked on uh, Google Chrome. It said, excuse me? Okay. You, you I, I was speaking. If you would let me finish speaking, I would appreciate that. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So I went to the place that uh, you were having me go to, Alpi, Alpi Mix, and my mm -hmm. Google Chrome just said something around the lines of that. Um, it says that it is remote access blocked. It says possible scam guard mm -hmm. IO uh, mm -hmm. blocked. It looks like it's malicious. I still have this code that's sitting up here on my screen outside of that. If we are going to put your AnyDesk number onto my computer, you are going to reverse our access, and we don't want that because I know... I don't know what that means, YouTuber, Azum. Azum, I don't know what that means. You are a YouTuber. Azum. Azum. You are, you are Azum. a YouTuber. Azum. There is no, Azum. there is no, there is no man who is called Azam. There is no man who is called Yes, Azim. there is, because you're correcting me, sir. Is your name Azam? Yes, my name is Azam. How can I help you? Well, you don't sound like Azam. You sound like uh, Beta. And you're quiet now because I know that there's Azam there. So you muted me. Which I don't like um, that. I don't really appreciate wow. that. You're beta. Okay. You do, okay? You do, my little bitty. My little bitty chota ah, hat. My little ah, chota hat beta. Ah, my chota hat beta. You are my little beta, okay, son? Uh, so I want to okay. speak with Azam, okay, okay son? Jaldi beta. 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 Are you a payback scammer? Are you from Payback Scammer? Let me Google it. Let Daldi, Google it. Beta. You are a mother of Randy Karoka. Do you know what is Randy Karoka? You are a Randy Karoka. Yes, I Get do. Me. Yes. So my, yes, I, know, I know that you grew up friend, in Sonic. Listen, my I'm sorry that you had to grow Azam, he's uh, taking a new access of my computer from USA. Oh, okay. Azam. Listen, listen can I ask you one thing? Can I ask money. you something? Uh, uh, Zawad, uh, Zawad, can, uh, I, can uh, I ask Zawad uh, something? Can I ask uh, Zawad something, please, Beta? Can I ask no Zawad mother, something? No, mother, please? No, mother, can I ask no, Zawad? Can I ask no, Zawad something, no, please, Beta? Beta, Beta. No, are you okay, Beta? Is, is everything is everything okay, Beta? So can I please have the access that I was asking Chota Laura? I'm not gonna do anything want, with you it. You want to speak with Azam? I want to speak with Azam. I was I was Kamkar. I was Kamkar. Okay, Beta. I was come. I want to speak with Zawad, okay, Laura? You want to speak Please. with Zawad? Zawad Kamaka. Zawad. Zawad. Listen, I want Zawad or Azam, please, okay, Beta? I don't want to speak. Please, I was come, car, okay? Sir. Sir, sir, you are looking it's wrong. It's not person, sir, it's ma'am. You are looking it's wrong. It's not person, sir, it's ma'am. There is no one called Javad. Javad. Are you smoking chadas for a holy? Are you smoking chadas for a holy? Ah. Are you smoking chadas for a holy? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Chadas in holy. It's not sir, it's ma'am. Bang in holy and fucking your mother. You ah, love. Ah, ah, it's funny ah. how you're able. It's funny that you're able to smoke chadas on holy because you're supposed to work because you have no money because you're you're not good at stealing from people. Such boy. Such boy. Azam, I want to speak with Azam. Let's freaking go. Let's go. I do remember. I went on the stream this one time. Uh, I heard the worst scammer name probably ever.
Alex LeBron. I don't know why that's funny, but it's... I've heard the whole kitchen sink of scammer names. Alex LeBron is up there. It is terrible. Can I speak with Larry? Excuse me? Is this Larry? Yeah, this is Larry. My name is Alex, and I'm calling you in reference to the electricity bill. Are you the person who looks after the electric bills? I am. Um, I, I'm just... I, I, I'm over here at my computer. I was on with Michael. I don't know if he's still there. Do I give you the session ID? This is about the savings of your electricity bill. Well, I know that. How do you know that? Because you told because me that Because I don't earlier. know, Michael. No, it's not. Okay. Are you sure? This is about... I am sure. My name is Alex. Alex and what? this is about LeBron. Alex LeBron? Correct. And this is about the savings of the electricity bill. Okay. You get the bills from Comet, correct? How did you know? Because we are the supplier company who is offering you a lower rate on the bill. Your last name is I'm LeBron. Calling. Press 1 to talk to a scammer. Alex LeBron. I'm sorry. Alex LeBron, I had to do a fireball on that one. I'm sorry, guys. At around 6 p.m., I feel like I actually still had a pretty decent amount of energy. And everybody was full on ready to go after these scammers for the rest of the night. Scale of one to 10, probably like a three or a four. I was probably like a two on tired. I was wired, bro. I was ready to go, man. I was a one. I was so ready. Dang. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did you have a Red Bull? Bye. Yeah, but I always have a Red Bull in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> of course I had a Red Bull. Yeah, there was a ton of hacking that went on. Um, and I remember I did pull up stream, uh, P stream just this one time and all I see is him. And then right behind him is just a map with a location on it. I've been seeing comments too, where they're like, this is fake. This is made up. Like we're literally doing it live in front of people. Like that should be crazy enough to be able to access their system, get the information really quickly, like waste their time and then get the information from them and then show it on the screen so the scammer's watching the vm and they see like their exact location then he's responding and reacting to it and he's like no we're from australia I'm like no you're from like west bengal dude you can see the options come that says like secure connection like that hello yeah yes yeah, sweetie what do i do just wait for a moment Yo, Progi, he can't hear you, or he can't hear me. I can just whisper him. All right. <laughs> Let me generate a code first. Go ahead, bro. Sorry? I'm just telling Midnight that we got him, so. All right, so first of all, ma'am. Trying to find this place real quick. Um, it's called the New Perfect Tailor. Mm -hmm. It's a clothing store. Right, is that where you are? Sorry. Is that where you are? You're right here, aren't you? We are not seeing yeah. your computer, ma'am. All right. Yeah, like, you're on Jatala Lane, aren't you? Computer. Are you on Jatala Lane? Uh, we are not up. No, no, no. We are in uh, based in Australia. Okay, you're not in Jatala Lane, right next to A Joy Fashions and New no. Perfect Taylor. <laughs> Yes. No, 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 ma'am. Are you sure? Because... Yes, I am very it sure. It seems as if that's exactly where you are. What you see? You're right on Jatala Lane, right? Right next to Bright Hall, and you've got, like, right here, Shoo Shoo, uh, Himalaya Medical, Bright Hall. Press 1 to talk to a Press scammer. Press 1 to talk to a scammer. <laughs> he... That guy's done. All right, so really quickly, what happened? Scammer, idiot. We had direct access to their phone systems, and he thought I was in Australia, so I did Vivian. 
He is located in Kolkata, down to like the very, like literally the 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 exact spot is this building. I mean, I don't know how better to say it. He's like in this building, probably. He's probably like in one of these spots here. So that was a quick win. We got some of his files. It was definitely his personal computer. This guy was an idiot. Nice. It was a it was a big win. So we'll be able to watch him for a while. Earlier, I was talking about how we all had the capabilities to make phone calls. So I would look over. And I would see Nacho on the call with a scammer. I would see Daniel making a phone call and kind of messing with them. And it was really neat to hear them uh, talking with these scammers because there really wasn't a lot of risk involved for them. I was super excited because uh, Pete told us before the stream that it was like, hey, I want you guys to try out scam baiting this time. And seeing Pete do it as much as he does and have as much fun, I was really excited to get into it. It's nerve wracking. I don't know how Pete does it. First of all, the multitasking. We didn't even have like a VM or anything to operate off of. Just trying to keep the scammer on the phone while talking to them, it's incredibly nerve wracking. Because at any moment you're gonna slip up or at any moment they're gonna realize that you're messing with them and just hang up the phone. But it's also a lot of fun. There's something really fun about just getting to kind of morph into these different characters and be somebody that you're not in order to try and mess with these guys. One of the best moments when we were actually starting to get a little bit of hacking, we had asked for assistance from Nano uh, because obviously we didn't have a VM in the editor's room. If there's one moment of hacking that really stands out, it was that Nano got on the same guy's system twice. Now I want you to type in there is www.3w's. Uh huh. Teamviewer.com. Um. Well, actually, uh, I, you know, I was getting some help with um, a problem that I was having with, with my Microsoft the other day, uh, and they had me download something called AnyDesk. Would that work? Can you open up that application? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. Um, are you still there, sir? Hello? Damn it! Oh, you hung up? No, that's why you just jumped right in. Ah. Hey, so you better stay on or I'm going to tell everyone that you're in Siliguri. Yeah. That's what you say. <laughs> Maybe. <Ooh. laughs> I think I can get him back. That same guy, we got on the phone with him and he got hacked again. Twice in a row. Okay. Um, I seem to be having a little bit of trouble. Could you, uh, could you maybe hit accept for me? Um, my, my, my mouse isn't, isn't clicking. Yeah. It's asking for a confirmation. And like, uh, you know, scammer payback. Um, I've heard the name before. You had the name before? Yeah. Mm, I know him personally. Oh, do you? Uh huh. Okay. Where are you from? Where are you from? Well, I don't think that's any of your business, man. Oh, f you, bitch. Dude, you're not good at this. Apparently, it's the second time we've been on yeah. your system today. Yes, brother. Dude, you, that's you rough. Mother, you motherfucker! You 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 think you could uh? You think you could take access off a computer, you motherfucker? Yeah, it, it it's really easy. You guys are kind of dumb. And f you didn't even take access. Dog, you're the oh. same guy from Siliguri. Why are you pulling? Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! It's the same dude! It's the silly girl! <laughs> Twice in a row. What an idiot. I don't really know. There's not much else to say. I actually spent a lot of time sitting in a nanobator's room. So I was overhearing, because I know the other editors, Nacho and Daniel, were in there trying to like scan bait, get information, uh, mainly getting just any desk connection. So I got to watch him as he connected. Nanobator himself, though, he was super cool. I, was not, I didn't know what to expect. All I knew is there was this really talented hacker coming by to hang out. And I was like, well, I want to hang out with him. <laughs> so we got a lot of bonding, uh, just ordinary stuff. We just talked, cracked jokes, uh, you know, trolled scammers as we do. I distinctly remember we were watching this one scammer and we noticed that he was clicking and he would be like on Vissy Dial or something. And then he would click and he was watching YouTube shorts. So I went to Nano and I was like, Nano, what are the chances that we can pull up a short from Scammer Payback. <laughs> and he said, yeah, we can do that. I was like, it's not gonna ruin anything, right? No, we can do that. Awesome. In reality, right. I can remote execute a short. And he'll think it's normal. Did you say remote execute a short? I can. Want me to do it? <laughs> He's like debating it. I can. Kind of funny. We can, it would be funny. I can do it right away. I can remote execute 
anything. So if you remote executed it's a, a scammer payback short, it would open up a new tab would, on his Google. Oh, a new tab. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Open web page. There it is. Ready? Three, two, one. And now he's gonna see. We found him. Just load. Go, 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 go. You're meant to see this. How do you track down this scammer bot? It doesn't matter. We got the load. Oh my god. He watched it. He saw your face, Daniel. I know. And he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Dude, now it's just a YouTube tab as well. Dude, he's like, what's happening? He's like, what is this fucking short, dude? Maybe he'll watch it. Please watch it. Please watch it. No. Click on it. No, don't no, click play. play. Come on, click play. <laughs> Just click it for him. Help him out. Help him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, dude. He's just, He's just watching the whole. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it. No! Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's a sick graphic, right, Scammer? Come on. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, he's locked in, bro. He's, he's locked in. He's like, oh, dude, I'm actually oh, I want to see him. I want to see him. I want to see him hit dislike. I wanted to hit dislike so bad. Oh my That's god. That's good right there. If he hits dislike, to comment. That's what that I wanted to say. What's right his Google account? <laughs> that short's good as man. You gotta. Uh, sorry, he's, I'm he's, he's locked in, or he just like ran away from the camera. Alright, guys, let's do a new short. Yeah, what's another? What's a bigger short? That's a bigger uh, short. Or you can just play a video. <laughs> the world's dumbest scammer. World's dumbest scammer is pretty good. This one? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. She's oh, there we go. Another one. Oh my god, dude. This guy just ran away. Swear to god. We're just jacking up our views right now. That's what's happening. Oh, he closed it. He closed oh, one no, of them. No, but he closed he the wrong closed one. closed one of them. And now he's waiting for this one to load. He enjoyed, like, he enjoyed like, the first one. Like, I already watched the first one. No, wait. He's opening up a new tab on Google. Let's see if that opens up. Oh. And he lies into this. Yeah, I'm going to just oh, I'm going to break his Chrome again. Oh, he's going to watch it. Oh, no. He oh. closed it. He closed it. No, shut down. He's going to shut down. He's going to shut down. Stop talking. Stop talking. Hack it in the system. Uninstall the end guess. It has to be it. <laughs> it has to be there it is. There it is. There it is. There any guest in the system is oh he has it open, so I don't think it's gonna let him. He's like, I know that scammer payback. <laughs> that payback scammers. <laughs> oh, it doesn't any guests. That must be the key. Oh he's gone, it's gone. Beautiful. Then he would let leave. him think that he's safe now and then open Beautiful it. Hope. He's back on Google. He's like, I'm safe. Let's get rid of hacker forms. I don't know why the memo notepad. Okay. Memo he's trying to go back to his script. <laughs> <laughs> is he on the victim right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, because he killed the oh, guy. That's right. <laughs> I think it's Missy Guy. He's not able to call victims. Oh, oh, he, oh he, he closed it before we could even. Oh. 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 Okay, let's oh, see if Peace Guy's still on. Peace Guy's still on. God, that was fun. Holy sh. So it was awesome. Did <laughs> you subscribe? He, uh, oh, we should have subscribed. Dang it, we should have subscribed to the scammer payback. Son of a gun. Scammer, if you're watching, what's up, bro? <laughs> Subscribe! Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like button. <laughs> One He's sitting there watching as you guys are feeding him content. <laughs> yeah. That's so yeah, good. He was, bots, he was already watching shorts. Why before. don't we do this more often? Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. This is actually kind of nice. When we had the idea of the 24 hour calls, I really wanted to get Nanobate up here because he's kind of working with the scammer payback team now. And he does some really incredible stuff with exposing scammers. And I thought it'd be really fun to have him up here so we could hack some of the scammers, reverse connections, all that good stuff. And uh, he was in the hacker room doing his thing. And uh, it's a big part of what we're doing moving forward. So it was cool to have him up here, get, get to meet him. And he got to meet the team. So I think Nano left at like 1 a.m. because I got the Uber for him. Hey, Nano, Nano. Your Uber is on the way. It's like really close. I don't you want to leave. I know, bro. Leave, bro. I know. Upstream. We'll see you next Thank month. You, bro. See you next month. We'll see you next month. It was sad because we everyone in the office loves him, right? He's a good kid, and he was having a lot of fun too. And he was like, "I don't want to leave." You know, we didn't want him to leave, but he had to get back. There was a difference in the energy once Nano left. Um, I feel like he was keeping us excited, and he was also keeping us a little bit grounded. And then we completely just lost the, the grounding, whatever grounding we did have. That, that was out the window. I was getting tired, definitely. On a scale of one to 10, how tired was I think I was like dead even. I was probably like a five at that point. It's double at least. I'm gonna go with like seven at this point. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> By 12 a.m. 
I had been drugged. <laughs> <laughs> Could have drink two, maybe. Well, Nacho gave me like this weird glass. Like he was trying to, he was trying to spike you back. I know. That's what I'm saying. He gave me this weird glass. Just so that, like, everyone had, knows, like, Nacho, stuff. and I will say this on his own free will, there was no trickery involved to take a melatonin bill. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel and Cena texted my girlfriend to bring melatonin. <laughs> for me to then take, which I was pressured by my girlfriend and my two coworkers to take it. And I went, you know what? It's a 24 hour, why not? So I took a pill of melatonin and knocked it back using a Red Bull. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, that number was six, but also three. <laughs> I was tired, but my entire body was like, be awake. This is the point where things start to get really wild. Now again, we are super tired here, so you're gonna see a whole new side of all of us. But right before that, a quick security tip from our partners at NordVPN. You may have seen my Instagram reel where I was talking about how scammers are targeting their victims through smart TVs. It starts with a simple pop-up on your television that's kind of enticing you to connect to all your favorite streaming services. The scammers will have you call their phone number up and charge you crazy activation fees for something you didn't need to in the first place. So the cool thing about NordVPN is that it actually works on a lot of smart TVs as well. So you can hide your internet connection from a bunch of different bad actors. NordVPN uses lightning quick servers, so your internet traffic is protected with a single click. And from there, it's encrypted and your IP is hidden. When I mess with scammers, I for sure use Nord, whether it's on my phone, my VMs, hosts, you name it, on every major platform. Over at nordvpn.com slash pierogi, there's a four month free exclusive offer. It's risk-free and you can try it out for 30 days. And if you don't like it, you can get your money back guaranteed. And they also have amazing free products like MeshNet that was just released and allows you to connect with any device securely around the world. Go protect yourself, guys. Now let's get back into the video. If there's one word to describe 12 to 6 a.m., it is chaos. Of all the experiences that I've had in my life, just those six hours alone, Pandemonium. I think one word I would use would be messy. Very messy. That's two words, but that's that's fine. Well, before I went into the room with Nacho, uh, I was sitting with P, and P was getting just as loopy. That's what was really fun. I have actually never seen him in that state. P is usually a pretty collected guy. At this point, he had lost it. I would like if maybe you went on the any dicks and helped out my computer and my Gmail. That's all I'm asking. You ain't computer at the moment? Yes, I'm on my desktop. He's in there constantly cracking jokes, being witty, really kind of just, you know, playing it up for these scammers. And he almost never breaks. Ma'am, today we have called you to help you out, okay? Just do one thing on your phone. We have to open oh, your I'm Google not on my phone. phone. I'm on my landline, darling. I'm sitting in front of my desktop, rotting away. My body, my soul is... Okay, shivering okay, down okay. to hell, waiting for you to connect to my any dick. Honestly, I'm getting a brain aneurysm waiting for... Waiting... Ma'am, uh, are you making fun of me or what? Yes, I'm making fun of you. How damn long does it take for you to understand I'm making fun of you? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hello? You can't, you can't get rid of me. You understand me? Yeah, bete guten tag. My name is David Wilson. It's an offensive on Microsoft Technical Department regarding to your computer. Do you understand that, bete? My name is Steve Wilson with the Microsoft Corporation. <laughs> oh. Press one to talk to a scammer. <laughs> 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 so good. So <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Press one to talk to him. There's this one section where he was just calling and they would hang up immediately. And so he started playing the payback theme. So you can imagine it from the scammer side, right? Like every time they pick up, you can't run. <laughs> Wait, oh, 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 wait,
Press one to talk to a scam. <laughs> this is great. Press one to talk to a scam. How you hear in between the music is just pew, pew, over and over. The reason that they couldn't block our number or stop us from calling them back is because we were using uh, a little piece of tech that we had been handed right at the beginning of the stream called the Scammer Hotline. We were completely bypassing any level of security that they could have. So we were getting straight in to their, was it their outbound calls, their inbound calls? Both. Both. <laughs> we were in their outbound calls. We were in their inbound calls. They were getting absolutely no victims. It was just us every single time they picked up the phone. And there was nothing they could do about it. I think the scammer hotline is one of the most beautiful inventions by Floppy and the Midnight. Um, so big shout out to them. It's kind of like injecting yourself into call centers. So to have access to their phone systems and then be able to just kind of put yourself as the next person in line without giving away too many secrets. I think that Midnight and Floppy said they had about 34 call centers, which I know it doesn't seem like it that, but we kept getting a lot of the same ones, which is actually kind of fun too. And then later on in the night, we got like the exact same one over and over and over again. So to a degree, it was almost like we, our, our office was kind of call flooding them. Like they would have to shut down everything, the entire enterprise for us not to call them. And then we probably would have called them again somehow. At some point, P just left me in the streaming room alone in the middle of the night. He, he had to use the bathroom or something. And that was the peak of nerve wracking for me. <laughs> like that was like, I'm not just sitting in the editor's room anymore. I'm not just goofing off. There's like a thousand people, 2000 people. I can't even remember who was up at that point, sitting there watching, expecting to be entertained. And I am not pierogi. <laughs> yes, this call is about your ordinator, your computer from Microsoft. All right. Hello. From from where? Sorry. From from Microsoft Corporation. Oh, Microsoft. I thought you said Microsoft. <laughs> yeah. So there was this guy that was just absolutely eating his mic. <laughs> he was just up on that thing like he was in a card lobby. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't mean to be rude. I don't want to interrupt. But there's a lot of chatter going on behind you. Could do you mind speaking a little louder, please? Now this is better. Now can you hear me? Much better. Thank you. Hello. Yes, that's better. Thank you. Like you now you can continue. The... I was like, I was like, excuse me, I'm, I'm having a bit of trouble hearing you. Could you speak a little bit louder, please? And this man just. Okay, sir. So what we need to do, and your system is. I was, I was crying. <laughs> there was a certain point where it was just almost impossible for me not to laugh during the scam day. Okay, so that's I'm why sorry. the 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 technician there called you to show you the hidden infection of your computer and delete the infections from your system okay, so I'm sorry. i do believe i'm, sorry, I'm working I'm... on your computer right now no, i'm sorry could you just repeat that last bit it was a little bit quiet i couldn't hear it again could you speak a little bit louder on that last part please like i'm telling you like uh, i'm calling you today to remove or delete the infection okay, from so your computer get... be be yeah because if you not delete yeah, because if it's or okay the so and then... all right and now you want to delete the, the infection computer? from my computer I think so. What were you trying to say about the computer you were trying to? And I have calling from Microsoft. You understand? So when we delete the files from my. Like you want to say something? Just go ahead. I am telling you when your computer on, just let me know. I am on hold on a telephone line. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. I'll get in front of my computer right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, beside the FN button, next to the FN button, what the button you can see? 
I see it's it's the sw- the- it's uh-huh. like a I'm sorry it's I'm just not I'm not trying to interrupt I'm just trying to answer the question but you keep talking it's it's got a four squares on it I guess it's like a logo of some kind all right all right the logo that is called the windows oh you're right, right. It's just, no, how about that I didn't know it is the windows logo that's huh yeah. All right. All right. The Windows what logo. You do, what you need to do? I didn't what know. You need to do, it's the Windows you logo. The, you know, it's the Windows now. logo. Now listen. To Sorry, I'm talking to my mate here. It's the Windows logo. What we can see now. Is that Malik? Malik? Hello? Malik? Sorry? Malik? 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 Definitely. Malik Why is on a call? My time? Huh? Why am I wasting Malik. your time? I'm not wasting your time. What? Oh, Malik? Malik? Is that you? Malik, talk to me, baby. Talk to me. What's going on, brother? How are you? Malik. Oh, Come Malik on, Malik. He did not like that. It's no fun. For that live stream, that was my third day of Skimmer Payback. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I still don't know what... Uh, seven does. Went straight right into it. My first week, day one, day two, just practicing editing. Day three, coming around, scam baiting for 24 hours straight. <laughs> it's was, it was pretty sudden, pretty sudden. I did my first scam bait call, which in, <laughs> I did my first scam bait. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I keep thinking really about I keep audio. thinking about that dude I was crying to. <laughs> I keep thinking about it so good. Hello. I I'm an intern with Scammer Payback, uh, and I'm just trying to get footage because I, I I just need help with collecting footage for the crew. I did my first scam bait call, which involved me crying to a scammer saying I need content in order to get this job with Scammer Payback. <laughs> which group, sir? Which group? Which group? Scammer Payback. So what else? What else do you have got for me, sir? Anything interesting? N- not really, unless, like, you can yell into the mic. Um, I'm, I just need footage, and I'm then the I'm crew... Not yelling. Why you not? Can't, sir. You can't... You can't, you can't even touch me, you know, you know that? Well, I'm an intern, so we can relate on this. Like, we're, like, um, we're probably both struggling right now, like. I'm not for, I'm not here for, you know, like, uh, permanent. Yeah, I don't know if I'm here permanently, I'm an intern. Like, I, I, they could kick me out by tomorrow, like, if I don't get this. But, yeah, bro, you can't, you, you can't touch our office because there are no, nothing out here, nothing you could get, okay? I don't I don't want to touch your office. I just need help. You need sir. help. Yeah, they're gonna kick me out if I don't get any footage. <laughs> the scammer was consoling me. <laughs> <laughs> he honestly, I wish he wasn't a scammer. He probably would have been a nice guy. He was motivating me. Now, what if I told you that everything seven just said was a lie? <laughs> because I edited that footage and he did not comfort you at all. He told you how much he hates his job. <laughs> I don't want to do this job as well. Sir. I can't help you, bro. I, I can't, can't help you. Can't you okay? help me, Bye-bye. sir? Please, please have, don't hang you up. You have a lovely please. day, okay? Bye bye. Sir, please don't hang up. Will you stop getting with me? Will you I'm stop getting kidding. with me? I need help. I need to get this footage. <laughs> sir. Please, I'm new too, and they're gonna, they're gonna, I won't have a job anymore. I won't, I don't want, I want to pay rent. Press one to <laughs> talk to a scam. That worked for so much longer than I thought it was. What the fuck? There was just a solid amount of time to where Cena and I were in the room, just call flooding these scammers. Every time they hung up, we call back with some other ridiculous thing. There were air horns. On your computer, okay? There were just absolute screaming. There was tic-tac-toe. All right. Hello. What about tic tac toe? Do you want to do tic tac toe? All right. Do you want to be X's Yeah. Or hello, O's? sir. Good and Morgan. Good, good My name is Zeni. I'm a surface in Windows of Thailand. 
you said so many things and none of them were do you want to be X's or O's? Right? Alright, I'm gonna be X's. Gosh, oh, darn. really? Yeah, really. Please check your name. My name? Amanda? Yeah. Yes. You're Divya's friend. Oh, is this Amanda? <laughs> I mean, like, the, we threw everything we had at these scammers, and none of it made sense. We just kept coming up with new bits. There's even a moment to where both of us just acknowledge, it's like, I think I'm running out of bits. Hello? You ever read Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah. Good oh, afternoon. <laughs> I was not, I was, okay, yeah, all right, I'm Max. I'm 93 years old, sir. My son built this computer. <laughs> Absolutely not. Buddy, is he sounding so stupid? Calling you That's from Windows cool. about your computer. I was actually calling about your computer as well. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Do you have a Google Chrome? I've got Microsoft Edge. It's my browser. It's my primary browser. I love Edge. Oh, that is the only browser you use. You don't like so Edge? Do Why don't you like Edge? Yeah, good and My name is John. So we're in German time now. Oh. Uh, Hi, thank you for calling Microsoft Support. This is Daniel. How may I help you? Hello. Hello. Am I talking to Lean? Am I talking to Lee? Lean Boto. Lean Dover? We have unlimited free time. I don't think you realize we're being paid for this. Hello? I have a riddle for you. <laughs> Hi, this is Nacho from Scammer Payback. How can we expose you today? Are you a motherfucker? I am. Hello? Are you tired of this yet? One of your card expiring. September 2026. And can you see the long number? Yeah. What number you can see, sir? Do you think I'm f stupid? No. Who told you, idiot? What <laughs> idiot? <laughs> just, just, basically just trying to get him to read the credit card number. Yeah. Please hold while we transfer your call. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> it looks like it. Hello? Dad? <laughs> Shut the f up, you asshole. Oh, a little sus on this one. Arrive. Yeah, I was told to press one in order to talk to a scammer. You are the scammer. I'm the scammer. Uh, I've never had so much fun on the phone. Am I speaking with a silly mammoth? You're talking with a silly mammoth? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Have you guys heard of Trilogy Media? Do you guys not want to play with us anymore? Have you ever heard of Papa Pear? That's You're being nonsensical. Hello? I'm running out of bits. We've genuinely lost it. I mean, we are so deep down the rabbit hole, it's not even funny. And Cena looked up on his phone this video, and the video is called an hour of silence, randomly interrupted by the Taco Bell bong. 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 And none of us know when it's gonna happen, but we're all just crowded around this computer, with Cena's phone held up to the mic, waiting for the right moment that it's gonna interrupt the scam date. One hour of silence, randomly interrupted by the Taco Bell noise. <laughs> <laughs> no I have no idea when this one will trigger. So I click it, and we're sitting there waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Hello, Dad? Beta? <laughs> Son? You can take forever. The best part is that it's timed like perfectly and someone says something absolutely ridiculous and then it just like <laughs> goes off right after the person says it. One of the most common comments that we get on the channel is that these videos are scripted and they're fake. I am telling you right now that there is not a universe that exists where this moment could be scripted. This is good footage to show our delirium. <laughs> <laughs> And as he finishes the word, it hits and we are all done for. I think like the stream glitches. And there's very few times in my life where I've doubled over with laughter. I was so exhausted and so delirious that I literally fell on the floor. Like I could not stand up. My posture was screwed. It was, it was done. I wish we could have called for the rest of the night. Uh, and we, at that point, were so energized by all the chaos that was going on that I think we were ready to. Uh, except for one very unfortunate fact. So, we were calling and having a good time. Everyone, you know, laughs all around. And then at one point, we hear a different hang-up noise that sounded like Google Voice hanging up. Oh. You guys have given up, haven't you? I've never had the call just end like that. Unless the number went down. Uh, midnight. Unless that means there were, uh, midnight kicked us. They're like, dude, you guys gotta stop. You're banned. Or no, maybe the Google Voice is banned. 
And uh, sure enough, I reload the page and I find out that I have been banned from Google Voice. Mm. Google Cat is banned. <laughs> 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 I don't even know I can have it. It's like Harchinder all over again, man. It's honestly impressive. So that was the end of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he's still banned from Google Voice, actually. Yeah, he for sure is. Yep. Great. <laughs> that whole period, it was weird because I had, I'd actually gotten less tired. I think maybe in my, maybe I was still tired, <laughs> but I felt like I was way less tired uh, throughout the whole thing until the banning happened, and then it just like all crashed at once, and I was like, whoa. By that point, it was a solid seven. Like, we were all firing on fumes. Ten. I'm confident that if you had asked me that question that night, I wouldn't have even been able to recall numbers between one and ten. I don't think. <laughs> You'd have been like, on a scale of one to ten, how tired are you? I would have been like, seven to six. I know there's a point where we're all sitting out here, too, so we can give P a break. And you can just hear it in my voice. I'm like complete dead man. <laughs> I was so exhausted by that. I would say the best way to, to describe it, honestly, it was it was just three hours of just torturing a call center. Oh yeah, yeah. And that uh, call center was <laughs> so torturing. bad. They might still, you know what? Hold on a second, you guys. Just give him a Capped call. Capped off. Just give him a call. Capped off. Just give him a call real quick. <laughs> just a quick one. Hello. <laughs> Hi, you're on the line with Scammer Payback. Anything you want to say to the people out there watching at home? I can't believe they're still going. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What? You mother <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Like we said, so, uh, they're not happy with tortured. us. You have no idea, y'all, but it is very good that Pia's off mic right now. Yes. And I'm very concerned when it goes back. Mom, you have to do it from your side, okay? You have to do it from your side. I'm the Okay, I can't talk to her. Man, I'm getting, I need like jumping jacks or something. Oh, my brain. <sighs> Pierogi's delirious. I am. <clears throat> I am. I'm going to play games for just a little bit, guys. I have to. Or else. I, I have to, guys. I'm going to get my second wind. And then we're going to call more scammers to the at the end to finish everything. When scammers are so incompetent when you're talking with them, there's times where I'm just like, I, I can't do this. I remember, I remember sitting in the front area of the office right over here. And we were just watching the, as the sun rose, reflecting on everything that happened that day. <sighs> See, saying day doesn't even work, because it was a very fun just 24 hour span. I've had a lot of like really fun memories uh, being here and working with this team. And that, that night was like top five easily. <laughs> it was so much fun. But in the moment, I was so tired. I was really ready to go home. <laughs> I was like, I really want to stick it out, but I'm not sure I can make it. The last six hours, the adrenaline had died off. We didn't really have another way to start calling scammers again. So we all just kind of stopped and talked. And it, it was nice. Like, you know, we were all talking about how fun the stream was through and through and just uh, how lucky we were to have an opportunity like this, a job like this. There isn't anybody else in the whole world that can say that they have done what we have done that night. Oh, what did you do this week at work? Dude, I stayed up for 24 hours and I called scammers the whole night. I got on a stream in front of a thousand people. I did a British accent and I almost got connected to a scammer's computer. I worked with a 16 year old kid from somewhere else in the country and we hacked the same guy twice. And we played the Taco Bell bong sounds. <laughs> I was fully intending to stay for the full 24 hours to the end of stream, but uh, I made a pact with the editors and I was like, look guys, we're going to call this the 9 a.m. pact. We're all going to leave at 9 so that no one can shame each other, okay? P can shame us all he wants, none of us will. At this point, we, there wasn't much we could do because we couldn't contact the scammers. Nano had already left, so we couldn't really hack them either. We couldn't really assist with anything. Uh, and I went on the stream and P was playing freaking Halo. So <laughs> I was like, well, there's not much I can do there. <laughs> well, I gave up and I played Halo. That's like when I, in life, if there's any troubles, I am jumping on Halo. So I was definitely fed up when I was jumping on Halo. <laughs> My name is Pierogi. I'm sitting next to Cena. This is Scammer Payback. It's daytime now. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly, I'm tired of talking to the same scammers too. 
Has it really just been the same people? Yeah, because at this point, I'm like, they're like, this is uh, Alina Gomez. I'm like, how how long is your shift, girl? Would you go home? And it was really funny, too, because as soon as we stood up to go, I opened the door and there here comes Brandon, nice and refreshed with a big old good morning. And I was... I was not having it. <laughs> he bet no. No <laughs> way. Oh, oh boy. Just get right to the punch because you already know. How was the eight hours? <laughs> <laughs> I bailed. I left. I did not participate in the full 24 hour stream. Now I did come back and close it out, which counts for nothing. But I was here at the very end. It's actually kind of sad because P was like, this is only fitting that I kind of started this thing and then I'm going to finish it by myself. And then I walked in. <laughs> we wanted to make an event that like was memorable for the Scanbank community and for our team and uh, cause a little bit of havoc and laugh along the way too. Like get on systems, reverse connections, scare scammers, you know, call flood them with our own guys, laugh along the way, have a bunch of fun. Like that's the idea of the whole thing was fighting against scammers all around the clock and have a good time doing it. It actually was a lot more successful than I thought it was going to be as far as like outcomes. So getting on the systems that we did and then seeing you guys scam baiting, that was cool uh, to see the rest of the team getting into it. So it wasn't just me sitting at a desk streaming for hours and hours and hours. Everybody got engaged in it and everybody was having fun too. So that was a really big win for me. Again, I was very proud that the whole team got involved. So it was like an inside joke that everybody was in on. And that's what we wanted the entire audience to feel was like, man, these guys, this whole group of guys are calling for 24 hours. They're translating what they're saying in real time so they can hear everything. Shout out Dictionary. She did it for 24 hours. Stayed up the whole time with us. We're connected in their systems and the fans are watching there. They feel connected to us. We're all doing it together. That was like a fun, it was like a party. It was really fun. That was one of the most fun experiences and it's definitely the most fun I've ever had at a job. I would absolutely do this again. Yeah, I, I want to do it again for the sole purpose of I want to get that connection. I want it so bad, dude. Heck yeah, do it again. Oh, that was so, again, it was so much fun. I'd love to do it again. Not soon, but I'd love to do it again. This weekend? No, definitely not this weekend, no. <laughs> Would you do it if you had the opportunity to do it again? Would you actually stay? No. <laughs> Fair enough. I would only do it if Brandon left, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna try to squeeze that. <laughs>